Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you like the new hair? I hope so. I got it done yesterday. I was in the salon for four hours. It was exhausting. And in that same day, I got my lashes done because it just got all jammed in together. I really love it. This is finally the point. I've been waiting to get to this point for like four months gradually. And I'm finally at this platinum point. I love it. I hope you guys like it too. I think it's just really fresh and cool and fun and different, you know, not just like the regular blonde. But I figured since I did get my hair done yesterday that I would do my favorite or in my opinion, the best hair products that have kept my hair healthy throughout this whole adventure of going blonde. And let's be honest, I've been color treating my hair for years, like over 10 years. So these products have really been helping me. Some of them are newer. Some of them are ones that I've been using for like ever. And I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. My daughter's awake. I tried to film this when she was napping, but then you know, this always happens because I have to talk loud and we're in a small house. She can hear me very clearly. So Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and start with like washing your hair because I've been going blonde. I've been and more cool tone. I've been trying to make sure that uh, my, I have no brassiness in my hair. And the funny thing is my hair picks up so much red. I used to have red hair at one point for years and I loved it. I really did. Maybe I'll insert like a picture somewhere so you guys can see it, but it's a lot of maintenance. So anyways, Side note, um, I do use a purple shampoo and a purple conditioner. My purple shampoo is in the shower. It's just like a basic, basic purple shampoo. Any kind works. But I've really been loving, which this is different to me, is the Blonde Ale by Dry Bar. This is different. It's actually a purple brightening conditioner. I didn't know they really sold purple conditioners. I never really saw it on the market when I was looking for purple shampoos. I really love this one because not only does it have that purple violet... Um, color to it. It's going to be hard to tell. You can kind of see it there. Yeah. Not only does it have that color to it, but it's actually very nourishing for your hair. Like it feels really, really good. It feels like it's actually hydrating your hair and it doesn't weigh it down. And also it smells like it's traditional dry bar products. Have you guys ever tried dry bar? If you haven't, check them out, try them out at Sephora. Ulta carries them now. There she is. Hi, come here. You want to sit with mommy? Yeah. Yeah. Let's show everybody your braid. Ready? Turn around. Mommy French braided her hair today. Ooh, so pretty. I'm going to have my assistant, my filming assistant with me. She's going to hold my products. Okay. All right. So anyways, this product is so, so good. Um, it really nourishes, like I said, brightens your hair. And so you could use this every time you wash your hair. It's totally safe to use. And, and her, and her. Um, it's really safe to use and it's really nice. So I definitely would say invest in a purple shampoo if you are going blonde. You want to hold that? Thank you. Next product. Um, okay. I'm going to go in with, okay, this product's really weird. And my sister actually recommended this to me like a year ago. And when she told me about it, I was like, no, like that's not going to work. Like I just, I was like, you're crazy. It's not going to work. It's actually called, let me explain. It's called the coconut co-wash. I don't know if you guys have seen this. They sell this anywhere in the drugstore. It's like under 10 bucks, something like that. Um, and basically what a co-wash is, is something that you alternate with your regular yeah. shampoo. It's actually called a cleansing cream conditioner. Now, when you see the word conditioner, it's not actually a conditioner. You would actually use a conditioner in addition to this. So have I lost you? Let me explain. Okay. So when you use this product, you would alternate. So like, let's say one day you use a shampoo and then you wash your hair three days later, instead of using that same shampoo, you would use the coconut co-wash. Now what you do, here's what it looks like. And I know you see this and it looks like, um, like a leave-in treatment for your hair or something like, and it smells so good. It smells like coconut slash mixed with like bubble gum. I don't know. That's what I think of when I smell it very coconutty. So you grab basically, basically a big blob. You wet your hair like you're about to shampoo it, the whole thing. And you just start like going to town in your scalp, your ends, make sure you get it really coated. Then you can go ahead and rinse. You can even let it sit for a few minutes if you want. Then you rinse it and then you condition as usual with like any conditioner. You can use it. I use this one, um, anything. Okay. When you get out of the shower, you are gonna notice the most amazing difference in your hair. This stuff nourishes your hair. It has, it's filled with coconut oil, um, tangerine oil, castor oil, saw palmetto, um, just like a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of oils, a whole bunch of nourishing things for your hair. It is so good and your hair is actually clean. And I'm not talking about like clean with like a little bit of greasy residue. No, I'm talking about dead on clean as if you had just shampooed your hair, but nourished. Basically it 
gives your hair a break from like the traditional shampoo. So even ones that are the most healthy, um, like shampoos that you would find out there that have like no phthalates, um, sulfates, all of that stuff are still stripping your hair. Like they're better for your hair, but they still strip your hair. They still have that sudsy effect. This basically just has like oils, a whole bunch of nourishing oils in it. And it basically cleans your hair naturally, but without those harsh, harsh chemicals. And it actually, and it's like, it gives your hair this break that it needs from regular shampooing, especially if you are shampooing frequently. Like if you have oily hair, try this out every, every two to three washes, try it out um, and see if you like it. Even if I wash my hair once a week, I use it like every other week, whatever it is that I do, I use this and I absolutely love this. I know I'm spending a lot of time on it, but it's really good. It is that good. It's just, it's amazing. This stuff has really helped save the integrity of my hair. So check it out. It's pretty good and very inexpensive. And the next product just to kind of like stay within the shower in shower treatment range, um, the, um, Redken pH bonder and then the Olaplex, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's really, this is basically the same thing. Honestly, they're both pH bonders in a sense, and they both kind of help reconstruct the hair. If you guys go and get your hair done, um, some salons carry the pH bonder or the Olaplex or both. You have to ask. And what they do is in the bleach, um, they'll go ahead and put like the first step of the pH bonder, which is uh, basically like some sort of, it's like a liquid that they put into the bleach that helps protect your hair while it's being color treated. It kind of almost coats your hair like a protective layer. So it doesn't get as damaged. And I got to tell you yesterday I was going four hours. I'm telling you guys four hours. I didn't even cut my hair, like just four hours coloring. And I honestly was scared that my hair was going to be bad. Like I was sitting there thinking, gosh, my hair's going to fall out. This stuff protected my hair. Like my hair felt so, so good. And I've been using, and I used the last time I got my hair done, I used this one. Doesn't matter. But anyways, you pay for it at the salon and then you get a take home, which this is the take home portion of these little kits. And with this, you use this treatment once a week before you shampoo your hair. So you wet your hair and so you, you get in the shower, you wet your hair, you go ahead and grab some, make sure you, you kind of pull it through completely to the roots all the way to the ends. make sure it's coated well. You wait about at least 10 minutes. So shave, do whatever you're doing, and then you rinse it off and then shampoo and condition regularly. Guys, total game changer. Like Honestly, if you get these things or just one of these and like in combination with this, and I've done the combination together, my hair has felt, I mean, almost better than ever. It feels like when I use these products, my hair feels thicker. And I know that sounds weird. And I don't have like thick hair is when, and it's always, everyone always gets confused with like, what's thick, what's thin hair, what's considered, you know, thick hair is when you put your hair up in like a rubber band or whatever, like a hair tie. And it's like this thick, like when you tie it up and it's like this thick. And I've seen people with like really thick hair. That's really what thick hair is. Um, I would say I have thin hair, but I have a lot of it. I have a nice like dent from my hair tie. Nice. I have thick hair. I mean, no, I have thin hair, but what I do is I have a lot of it. And I've heard that many times, time and time again, from different hairstylists. I just have a lot of hair. It makes it feel almost like each individual strand of hair is almost, I don't want to say coated because that sounds bad, but it makes it feel like it's just gotten thicker. You know what I mean? Like, like I have more like thicker hair. That's what it feels like. I absolutely love this stuff. I have been using it once a week, one or the other. Like I said, same thing. It just depends on what your salon carries. It really has changed my hair. It's total. My hair is just so much healthier than it was before. And it feels so much thicker than it was before and just more manageable. I, I'm just so impressed you guys definitely need to check this out. If your salon doesn't carry it or if you color treat at home, um, you can actually buy these separately. This one's like $28 at Sephora. And I think this one's like 14 bucks, maybe like at Ulta, I think they sell it. So like I said, to these are definitely something worth looking into if you are color treating your hair in any way. It doesn't have to be bleach like I'm, I'm doing. It can be like any color. Um, it's just a good way to protect your hair. I'm going to try and go by through this as fast as I can because I know I'm taking, I'm like really invested. Hair is a very big thing for me. I've always, like my mom's always really been into her hair, even more so than makeup. I'm just so invested in my hair. Like I want to have good hair. I feel good when I have good hair. So Sorry, I know I have a lot of products, but I'm gonna try and zoom fast through this. Um, next product I'm gonna mention quickly is a hair oil. I do believe having a good hair oil is very important. Um, and I just definitely notice a difference on my ends when I use a hair oil versus when I don't. And I've been using this one, honestly, this is the Moroccan oil. This has lasted me, 
it's been a couple years. It's really been a couple years. I have like about this much in there. Honestly, you don't use that much and you only use it really at the ends to like mid shaft of the hair. And I really love the Moroccan oil. This one, um, first of all, it smells yummy. It just does. It smells yummy, um, but it really does a good job of sealing hair. I mean, it's in hair oil. I just think any hair oil will do the job. I really especially love the Moroccan oil. It just does a good job. You feel like it's too thick. They actually have a Moroccan oil light version that you can purchase as well if like you feel like your hair is too oily and you want something a little lighter. Um, but this one's really good too. I love it. Okay, so now we're kind of getting more into like the styling products. I mean, the Moroccan oil was part of that too. Um, but one product that I've been using for years, this is like an OG. Well, the Moroccan oil is an OG and this one's an OG. This is the It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. Guys. If you need a good bomb leave-in conditioner, and let me tell you, sometimes I alternate. I've been using this for years, years. And sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, I'm bored. Let me do something different. I always come back to this. I'm never happy when I do use other ones. This one is so, so good. It will literally, like, it will detangle your hair like this. Like, you don't have to worry about, like, getting caught or you know what I'm saying? Like those knots or anything like that. I even use it for my daughter sometimes because she'll get knots. Um, yeah, I'll use it for her because sometimes she'll get like excessive knots if we get out of the shower or even just like sleeping the next day, she'll have knots and I'll spray this in there in her hair and it just does a great job of detangling. I mean, that's it. It says it's a 10 and I don't remember what the 10 benefits of it is. It's just really good. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just good. They have like different ones too um, you can try as well if you don't like the original one, but the original one to me is just like... It's just good. It does the job. It's a good leave-in conditioner. It makes me happy and it smells really yummy. I absolutely love dry bar products. I recently just, I discovered them like about over a year ago or so. Yeah, I would say over a year ago. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products from them, it's the dry bar triple sec three in one. Um, it texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. This stuff is amazing. I've seen a lot of YouTubers talking about it so good like if you want big hair and you want to look like you have thicker hair than you do and more hair than you do buy this product that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say this product makes your hair look like you've got more hair than you do like it's it's just a great product and it in a sense acts like a dry shampoo so it, it gives you that texture to your hair that like a dry shampoo would give you so like i love it for styling because i don't necessarily use hairspray regularly but i do use this to style my hair and just to give it more like oomph you know and i can even show you and also also, dry bar products, best smelling products on the market. You don't have to be like, you don't have to be fancy with it, but like, I'm going to show you. I know it looks messy, but I just got more hair. Like, it's just intense. This stuff is so good. So worth the money. Dry bar just, they don't, they don't play around. They know their products. And this is just amazing. This is like a holy girl product. I've purchased it so many times. Even my husband loves it. He loves it. He uses it all the time. Like he uses it daily and he probably won't admit it or maybe he will. I don't know. And summer. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's just a great product. I love it. Love dry bar. Another thing from dry bar, this is actually a sample. Well, it's like bigger than a sample, but it's like a mini version. It's the detox whipped dry shampoo foam. Very weird product. It is a foam. It is a dry shampoo foam. I'm not going to squirt it out, but you get the idea. Um, you put, you Squirt some out. You just literally flip your hair like that and just start massaging it into your scalp. And this stuff will leave you with so much volume and texture to your hair, but like in the best way possible. And it will suck those oils from your hair too. Like it leaves your hair clean. I love this product. I love how different it is than a traditional like spray dry shampoo. And I love that just because it's in a foam form, it's, it's like it will definitely give you that volume that you want. So I absolutely love this product. It's really, really good. And another product, a styling product is um, by Way. This is their wave spray. Basically, this is another mini version. And I use this differently than what it's actually said to be used. I use, it says it's a wave spray, which you can use it for that too, if you want a little bit of wave to your hair. What I actually use this stuff for is to give my hair more volume at the root. So what I do is before I go in and blow dry my hair, like after I wash my hair and I detangle it, and it's kind of like at that point where it's, I'm letting it air dry. Like it's at the point where it's air drying a little bit. I will go ahead and like spritz at the roots or any, like if I have a cowlick, which I do like right over here, it's so annoying. Um, I'll just spray it up here, kind of like anywhere that I want more volume. 
And then I'll go ahead and let it sit for like a couple minutes and then I'll go in and blow dry it. And I absolutely love the hold and the like the height, the volume that it gives my hair um, without that crunchy, without that like crunchy, crunchy feeling. And last product is actually not a product, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. It's like an honorable mention, if you will. It's actually a styling tool. I mentioned this in my November favorites. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a little card up here somewhere. Um, but it is the Dry Bar Baby Buttercup Blow Dryer. This is one of the best blow dryers that I have ever used. Summer uses it too. It's actually the travel size. So they have the Buttercup, which is a little bit larger. And then they have the Baby Buttercup, um, which is more compact. It still looks like a standard blow dryer, but it just kind of like clicks down and it has a little um, travel baggie, which is really cute. But what I love about this blow dryer is that it's got power, it's got heat, but the heat isn't to the point where it's literally gonna fry your hair. Like I can literally start blow drying my hair and I can put it directly to my hair and my hair is not gonna fry. I have my last previous blow dryer that bit the dust. It was, it would get so hot, like so hot to the point where like you could see the steam coming out of it. And I can tell that it was really damaging my hair. My hair has been so much better since I got this back in November. My hair has been less damaged um, from heat. It's just, I don't really, I don't really straighten my hair on the occasion. I'll use like a hot tool, but I really don't. I'm very much a believer in blow drying your hair. I love blowouts, it's like my favorite thing. That's why I love dry, dry bar because they're all about blowouts. Um, but this blow dryer is just a great investment. It's really good for your hair. It keeps your hair nice and healthy um, without that extra heat damage. So if you are looking for a good blow dryer, I would definitely check this one out. I know they have the tester of the big one at Ulta, but everyone, even if you look up online, like Google Ulta, I'll have a link for this below anyways but the reviews are better for the baby buttercup rather than the big one. The big one still has good reviews, but everyone's like, get the baby buttercup. It's just as good. It's a little bit cheaper and it's like super cute because it's like compact. So I definitely agree with that. It's, it's really, really good. Okay guys, I know that was a whole lot. I have a lot of, like I said, I'm very passionate about hair products. I like to style my hair. I like to change it. Yeah, I like to change it up with colors. I just love doing all that stuff. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. Thumbs up, go do a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me. And that's it, that's all I have. Thank Thanks you. guys, have a good day. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away.